Hi everyone, Zori Mori here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and try on video. I'm gonna show you a first look of the pre fall collection by Cezanne. It is my favorite collection of the year. Fall is my favorite season, so I'm very excited to show you what I got. And I'm also really excited of what's to come because we already had seen few sneak peeks. Before we dive into today's video, I want to invite you to join me on Facebook. If you're not part of my Facebook group yet, I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. On there, I share discount codes, sale alerts, restock alerts, gossip surrounding new Cezanne collection releases, and brands I discover that I think you're going to love if you like Cezanne. So I hope you join me on there. I'm also going to include the link to my Instagram account. If you're active on the platform, definitely stop by and say hi. It's good for us to connect on multiple platforms because with the algorithms, we just never know. It's good to be in touch and I would love to see you there. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Now let's get into today's video. Here I have the Bethany cardigan size extra extra small, which is my usual size for Cezanne knitwear. No need to size up or down. Material is 100% merino wool. And I know you're wondering, I'm gonna dress it right away. Zero itch. I know many of you have sensitive skin and when you're buying knitwear, you're always wondering, will this be a cozy piece? Or will I have to constantly debate what kind of base layer to wear underneath to be comfortable? Fear not, zero itch. 100% comfort. I fell in love with this cardigan the moment I saw it in the first teaser images. I wasn't in love with the styling they did with the metallic shorts, but I can come up with so many combinations of how to style this design because it's so classic. You have a Peter Pan color, which is playful, and I absolutely love the finish of the color that has this crochet detail. Personally, I think I'll wear this for a lot of years to come. This here is the Brie jumper, size extra small, which is the smallest that this jumper comes in. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have the burgundy version from last year, and it's one of the sweaters I ended up wearing a ton. It's so comfortable. It has zero itch. Again, for all of you with sensitive skin, this is a really good option. The design in this color kind of reminds me of the Leonide, but it's a little bit more fitted version. I also really enjoy the added texture that comes from all the cable knits. Altogether, this is a fantastic piece. And even though I already have this design, this color makes it look so different and so versatile that I just, I couldn't pass on it. This here is the Emil Cardigan, size extra, extra small color, Chinese Rose. This design is based of the A Hill cardigan, but with a round color. I happen to have the A Hill in modeled pink, so side by side. This is the A Hill modeled pink, and this is the Emil Chinese Rose. Very similar in color. The A Hill is a little bit darker. They are three big differences between the two cardigans. One, the Emil is way less wide than the Hill, so it's easier to tuck in, easier to style. I know the Hill felt really big for some of you. The second is the composition. The Emil composition is different, so it's way less itchy in comparison to the Hill. Emil has 55% alpaca, 30% polyamid, and 15% wool. In comparison to the Ahil, which the primary fiber in the Ahil is um, polyamid, we have, let me see, here it is. We have 40% polyamid, 32 kid mohair, and 28 wool. So Emil has better composition, not as itchy. And last but not least, the Emil is way less fuzzy. That's another thing a lot of you have complained about, that the heel is just too fuzzy, it sheds a lot. Don't get me wrong, the Emil is also fuzzy and it will shed, but it is not quite as fuzzy as the heel. Altogether, my decision is to keep the heel that I have because I've had success styling it, I love it, the colors are too similar, but I think I'm gonna keep the green basil, which 
I've been thinking for the longest time to get the green a hill and I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I don't have that in my closet. So I think for me, this order, I was like, do I keep the Emil or do I keep the basil? And the basil won. This here are the Damon pants, size 34, which is my usual size for Cezanne bottoms. They fit through the size. You have a high-waisted pant with deep functional pockets cropped around the ankle, really flattering design. Material is a wool mix. Such a functional addition to anyone's closet. I did ask the customer service if there are more colors coming. They said no. And they asked me what colors would I like to see in future collections. I said I would love camel and khaki because for this cut, I can see both of those colors selling out as well. If you are looking to expand your closet with functionality in mind, definitely try to get one of these during the upcoming restocks. This is the Basil Cardigan, size extra, extra small, color khaki. This is the new version of the Ahill. The design is the same, but it's just smaller. You will not get the same wide, bulky cut. This is more form-fitting. It's easier to tuck in. It is not as itchy as the Ahill. I think that's great that they really played with the composition. Here you have 50% alpaca, softer to the touch and way less fuzzy. It's still fuzzy, don't get me wrong. Here is a close-up. It is fuzzy, okay? But it is not as fuzzy as the Ahill. Uh, if you were on the fence for the Ahill uh, before, I think now is the time to give this new improved cut a try. And this color is just amazing. This here is the Tally blouse, size 34, which is my usual size for Cezanne tops. It fits true to size. Material is 100% polyester, which surprised me for some reason. I got the materials mixed and I guess I was looking at the shirt and the shirt is cotton, so I thought this top would be cotton. So I was a little disappointed when I discovered that it's polyester. I was really sold on the material for this piece, so I'm still debating whether I should keep it or send it back and get the button down shirt. Let me know what you think. Other than that, the print is fantastic. It's the new print from the pre-fall. It's called... Um, let me see, it's called Imprimé Arabesque Fleur et Cru. The piece is currently out of stock, but make sure to monitor the website. I'm sure with the new fall collection release coming this Sunday, people will change their mind and a few of these will become available. All right, guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the pre-fall collection which pieces are your favorite. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. In the description of this video, you're gonna find all the pieces linked and you're also gonna find the links to my Facebook group and Instagram. I hope to see you on there. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.